Hey there, everybody. This is Bo. Now, uh, remember the last time we uh, did a little tech it? We went and talked about how to get infinite energy with the geothermal loop. Well, we got to do something with all that energy, right? We got to take all that energy we're getting and all this crap we got from the quarries, and we need to make sure we're processing all the ores that come out of it. Now, just a real quick one. When you're doing your quarry, make sure you're using diamond pipes, so that way you can get rid of all your crap. It goes straight into an energy condenser. I have it making diamonds just because I don't... Some people will use iron ingots because you can kind of deal with it a little better, but I don't really care. So I put it straight in just because straight to diamonds is cool with me. Now as you see, I have my ores coming into two different areas. I have ores going down this pipe into my my loop, which we'll talk about in a moment, and then uh, coal, redstone, lap like basically everything else goes into here. This is all crap that probably going to stick into here, but I just leave it. So what's important about setting up the proper usage of like ingots? So your macerator and your, your heater, well, your furnace rather. Well, if you have just a normal macerator, it's going to be too slow for most outputs you'll have. So if you were to start doing this and then this, you have copper and tin are directly next to each other. When they go in, they're going to be too slow, and then you're going to start seeing crap like spurt out the top. That's bad. So what I have here is a rotary macerator. A rotary macerator is an improved version of a macerator. It's very nice. Basically, it goes in and boom. See how quick that hits? So no matter how fast any of these ores come in, they just get processed immediately and pulled right out. Now, they go out that quickly. Now, a rotary macerator, let's just look up the... So you guys can see the... Okay, so that's a rotary macerator. Basically, a regular old macerator surrounded by refined iron and advanced machine block. Advanced machine block looks like this. You'll need a compressor to be able to build it, but compressors are easy. So anyway, this guy mashes it up super fast. If you have it stuck to a redstone signal, like either a redstone torch like I have here, or even like a, I have a switch back here for the redstone pump, then it will continually be on. If you were to like turn it off, then it will like go. It'll basically spin down to zero RPM. But I just leave it on because it doesn't soak a lot, you know. This chest over here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so here's the result. Yeah, here's the result of my setup. And this is all the ore that comes out from my quarry and then gets processed here. That's uh, my little brother, so we're playing together. Uh, so I have it. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, it's just sorry. Uh, we're looking at the loop here. The loop is goes to... There. Uh, so, the, yeah, oh, that's an alchemical chest. Anyway, back to what we're trying to accomplish here. The rotary macerator will take in any stuff that comes out of our quarry straight in and process it. Then what happens is after it gets processed, like this, okay, iron gets processed, it sucks it straight out. It goes right into here, directly into an induction furnace. Now, an induction furnace, if you leave this right here, it gets redstone signal attached to it, it will process the ore very quickly. So let's just watch the the dust, boom, and boom, done. It processes all the ore super fast. And I think this takes about 3 EU for every tick, and that's about 3 EU for every tick. But as you guys well know, we have so much power coming in, I just leave them on the whole time. And this is the alchemical chest. Now, I'm using an alchemical chest rather than this because if you look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, by one, two, three, four, five, six, six by nine, 54 uh, slots, right? Yeah. Whereas this one is 13 by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hell of a lot more storage because you need it with all this. Uh, the next step I'm probably going to do is take start putting a filter on here or pneumatic tubes and start sending excess stuff into the 
converter here because we, we are going to run out of room at some point, but we'll dick around with that later. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys what do you do with your quarry and how can you do like a nice uh, macerator induction furnace loop. So this is a rotary macerator to induction furnace loop straight in. And you guys, it's just flawless. You can let your quarry go, no problem, no worries, and then just profit. So I hope that was helpful. If you guys enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe, and I shall talk to all you guys later. Oh, wow! Hey, could you subscribe to the channel? Thanks!